If you are enjoying the story so far, and need more Dungeons & Dragons in your life, I invite you to check out another group called The Long Past Podcast. They are working their way through heroism and tragedy in the events of the Kragan War. Their name and link are in the description below. Day 77. This day was indeed one of the longest days ever. It may have very much felt more like four days with everything we went through. We entered the volcano. We were attacked by giant insects. Stone Cold Killer Eagle and a three-eyed, three-armed, non-flying, not purple people eaters. I thought being trapped in a large toad's mouth was scary, but no. Swimming in dark tunnels, unsure if we could make it through without breathing to the other side, if there was another side, was in fact the scariest thing I have ever done. With Thea blindly leading us and Varen still exhausted, I had to brave it out and keep a steady head. If I had panicked, it would have been worse for everyone. Once we passed the dark water tunnels, and we found, a, we found a room that had glowing mushrooms, bubbling floor, and what sounded like scribbling on parchment. It was a daring dash to the desk, just to find a mechanical arm writing down chicken scratch, and now a huge gap in the floor, because the floor is lava. Then we have to fight. Sorry. Then we have the fight of our lives. No, that's not true. Runs like water had the fight for his life. Since he sent everything possible at us and tried to distract us with an illusion of himself. Luckily, I saw through his deception and pinpointed his real location with a little help from my friends like Norton. All right, now let's get into it. Welcome back to the land of the hunter. Still working here? Uh, can you hear me okay? I feel like I lost you. I uh, lost you a little bit near the end of the journal. Agreed. Uh, that's okay. Uh, just like the last... Uh, let's see. Lost you right after runs like water runs no more and didn't hear that now is for Dell. Uh, 
uh, starting over. Welcome back to the Land of the Hunter. It is the 78th day of our campaign. The elves have used the Amulet of the Plains to set off in pursuit of their healer's soul. Young Del, who has been infested with an unknown entity, had his soul torn from his body by unexpected chance when Thea changed her fate and banished the Revenant forever. While destroying runs like water and its forces, we found among the restored appointments, curse anchors, and flawed magical theories, the name of a location on the plain of Elysium, allowing the use of the Amulet of the Plains. The veil of mist parts before our eyes, and as one, we elves set foot upon soft, deep soil. The scent of the rich earth rises instantly to our senses, lifted on a so softly sighing breeze. The sun is gently warm on our skin as the grass sighs peacefully about us over the rolling hills which spread out as far as the eye can see. The blessed fields surround this quiet grove of tall, dark oak trees. And as we turn about, we are confronted by an unusual sight here. A massive being of imposing stature and possessed of a quality of stillness and solidarity that would make a statue seem as a young sapling, with his back to a closed door against a tree trunk and a truly tremendous sword in his great hands. From behind his wings are a pair of wing from behind his shoulders are a pair of wings spread in forbiddance. Hail, wanderers, and welcome to the threshold. Your coming is awaited. Varen leans over as Adrian says, Heimdall? And Varen just mutters, Um, I feel a little worried about the last time we fought someone with wings. Anything for you, Thea? Yeah, yeah. He's friendly. <laughs> oh, desperately, eagerly. The bead of sweat yeah. dripping down my forehead. <laughs> Just a little bit of worry there, I sense, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the winged fi figure nods at you, the at your words, Thea. I am neither friendly nor foe. This time, I guard this door against that which lies within. You are here to mm. seek the soul of Del. No, no, he doesn't have a beard, Adrian. Uh, Look at his chin. Oh. And what was that, Thea? Uh, you know of Del? He is here? He is and here. I'm not here to help you. I am here to prevent the entity from trespassing upon this peaceful domain. Adrian has a comment. What's the entity? Who's the entity? And is like Adrian the entity? And Adrian chimes in with which entity? The entity which infested Del's soul. When Del's soul arrived here on the blessed fields of Elysium, contained within its vessel, we noticed that there was an intruder along with it. We placed the vessel and the intruder within this demiplane, so that he would not pollute 
the peace and sanctity of this realm. However, the entity has moved. It has established its own demiplane within the demiplane and made of it its domain. It is unknown what lies beyond that door. And Varen, as Adrian is typing um, out, Varen leans over to Thea and says, So basically, something is preventing Del from being rescued. Right? Uh, and as Varen is trying to figure out exactly what this figure is saying, Adrian chimes in with, What if we give you our vow that we would destroy the entity? The winged figure... Can we destroy the entity? What, what, I'm sorry, what was that, Thea? She's gonna kind of like side to whisper out of her mouth, Can we destroy the entity? Do we know how? <laughs> Varen just kind of touches his longbow and says, Usually shooting things works pretty well for me, usually. The figure lets out a belly I, laugh. I guess... Sorry? Oh, nothing. Okay. The figure lets out a great rolling belly laugh and says, Warriors in the mortal realm remain warriors even in peaceful realms. Violence and decay cannot be allowed to touch this plane. But passing beyond this door will bring you to the next door and a realm where reality may not conform to your expectations. But you will be able to fight the entity. If you are daring. The only thing I understood of that is we don't know what to expect. We can fight, but we don't know what to expect, so we don't know... I don't know what we know. You know that the Entity cannot enter this realm. I hold the door. But in order to bring forth the life of your friend, then you must battle the Entity. Oh, so this story goes out of this realm into a, the the sub realm where Dell is that also holds the sub realm that the entity created, other than this being the door into this realm. Hey, right? close little one. This door leads. To I'm the sorry. Door. Can you repeat that? Uh, so to to summarize and clarify, this door that he's guarding leads to a demi plane. Inside of which is another demiplane, where, en where the vessel for Dell's soul is being held, along with whatever the entity is. Demiplane, does that mean something along the lines of subcategory? Think of it like a pocket dimension. A little bubble on the side of reality. Okay. Okay. And Adrian has a comment. What was that, sir? Battle of Wits. <laughs> what was that? What was that? The <laughs> this is a battle of which we're in trouble. Baron <laughs> <laughs> points at Thea and says, "Yes." <laughs> and Adrian is typing. Eventually, he will finish. It's like a fourth wall break within a fourth wall break. That's like. 16 walls! Varen, Varen looks over at <laughs> your head, Adrian just says, You're the smart one of the bunch, and math is not your strong suit. As I said, if this is a battle of the wits, we all are in trouble. <laughs> Do you wish to reclaim Del's soul from its vessel? 
do regular weapons work? Possibly. Can we kill this entity with weapons? Possibly. Eh, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, we just might open up a door that unleashes evil upon multiple dimensions that we don't even know or understand. How bad could that be? Right. That, that, that could go poorly at all. <laughs> uh, I imagine that Baron and Thea just kind of both look at Adrian like, so do we do this? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. As, a, <laughs> as Adrian just starts, pulls out of... No, he doesn't pull out a bottle of wine. The winged being turns and touches the point of his rather frighteningly large sword to the door, and we are allowed passage beyond. By the way, big giant Go ahead. fighting looking guy. Any advice? Stay alive. A useful advice? Noted, Adrian, you are away from keyboard. Uh, that's right. I have only moved him like, aside. In, in the lines of what hazards to avoid or how best to fight evil we entity cannot, thing? We cannot venture beyond into the domain of the entity without allowing the entity the chance to pass into this realm. I will prevent its invasion. So, in other words, the... Uh, um, they don't know what's beyond the door, so they can't give you advice. Yeah. So I have moved. What's the worst the... that could happen? We open a multi-dimensional door to evil that we don't understand. That could, you know, essentially only evil on, on multiple universes. I'm it sure it could be. go only swimmingly. Uh, so I've moved them aside. The door is unlocked. Adrian, I know that you are away from keyboard. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the scout. Do you want to open the door? Mm. Or I'm sorry, what? Ah, gotcha. Uh, I will gracefully and delicately peek inside the door as I start to move into it. Very well. Ooh, pardon me. I believe that's a use of reliable talent, but I'll double check later. Uh, Thea, you open the door. There's a curious effect here. A force unusual... It's not a physical sensation. But upon opening the door, even though you are only opening it to crack, it actually pulls you within. Give me an insight check. I'm trying to find the right button. It is... Nice roll, 19. This is not a hostile effect. This is merely a um, a property of the door so that whatever is trying to go through will have a much harder time um, coming out from within. Think like a pressure valve. No. Nope. I'd like to think this through. I'm going in. All right, you may um, open the door and pass Immediately through. looking for a way to Duck out of the obvious path of wherever I find myself. Certainly. Please open the door. I say oh, that in my head. Hear... Yeah, you can open it. I say that and I immediately hear in my own head like the the, the sound effects of the doorknob turning and the yeah. as the door swinging open. I'm sorry. All I saw was black. I didn't realize we actually had something to work with. There you go. Um. Uh, since Adrian is away from keyboard, I will move him through. Thea, go ahead and step through. As Thea steps through, what are these big things? Are these, like, statues? I will read that uno momento. The door closes smartly behind us with a tone of finality, preventing any attempt at escape. We find ourselves signing in a quiet, narrow strip of grassland. Noted, sir. The air tense with expectation and wariness. Before us stands a single... I'm reading this to you now, sir. 
Before it stands a single sealed door, awaiting passage. To either side of this second door are statues of enormous and well-proportioned horses standing in defiance of the second door. From their brows rise spiraled horns aimed at the, at the closed second door. There is only one way forward. Would we know anything about the kind of symbolic or ritualistic significance of these horse statues? Thea or Adrian can give me an arcana check, if you please. The eyes! Are they open? Is darn button. Yes. Wow, Thea. Adrian, did you want to roll an arcana check? A nat 20. Well, okay, well, just for the heck of it. Uh, I'm going to check something real quick. Okay. I need to double check one other thing. I just gotta make sure I'm following the rules. Following the rules. Okay. Duly noted. Alrighty. Aid, uh, Varen will also roll an Arcana check. So let's see if with my zero intelligence modifier if I can bring Nope. Varen just looks at these like, wow, when did they add horse horns to horses? Thea and Adrian, you're both you both recognize these statues of the beings known out of legend of as unicorns. Creatures celestials really. They're not actually horses, they're more like an, uh, angels in No, ain't um funny. <laughs> they're more like um <laughs> angels in equine form with imp impressively restorative powers. With your nat 20, Adrian, you would recognize that this little demiplane that we're currently standing in is acting like a barrier of life and restoration against whatever is beyond the door. Do we wish to continue? Can Thea, can Thea take a look without don't want to like desecrate it and just rip the horn off but I want to assess the horn and see if there's any way I can think to use it as a magical boon to my weapons to make them more powerful it so these do look like statues if not then I'll just kind of... these look like statues but as though they were carved all of a single kind of stone interestingly you're not sure what kind of stone it would it would that sorry you're not sure what kind of stone is used in the construction of these statues. It doesn't look familiar. I'm just going to lay my hand on it in a brief moment of meditation. Then I'll come over here and I'll open this door. Okay. I will approach with caution. Are you, are you speaking of the door, Adrian? Okay. Well... Adrian starts approaching the door with caution, and Thea just kind of kicks it open. <laughs> the first reading of this new plane, uh, if you would not mind all putting yourselves through into the... Let me think this through. Yeah, go ahead and put yourselves I'm through. I'm going to pull out my bone and arrow, but yeah. Yeah, you can equip your, your weapon of choice as you move, move through. For Varen, that's a long bow. The first greeting of this new plane is the wretched stink of decaying blood, followed closely by the gloom of despair as shadows writhe across the ground like mist. The ground and grass here are stained darkly with, with old blood and give forth before our eyes a long sloping hill. 
barely heard through the creeping shadows are whispers of decay and despair, urging those who listen to quit, give up, lay down, and die. A small fortress of stone stands on the crown of the hill, its battlements hardly to be seen through the gloom. The light here is pale and sickly, and full of shadows. In effect, we're in dim light conditions. Even though, uh, even though there's no source of light, you know, if you look up, there's no sign of a sun, for example. Um, like a, a very overcast day. It's effectively, yes. All grass that is this color is difficult terrain. Looking at the base of the stone wall ahead of uh, the stone fortress ahead of us, um, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna do a focus ping to make sure everyone can see this. All right, focus ping. At the base of the stone of the stone fortress, we can see a wooden palisade. Which what? Oh, um, yeah. I know that we, vision-wise, we can see inside, um, because of the slope of the hill, we can't see inside. We see only an opening that wouldn't palisade. Like, fortifications. Okay. Is that the end of the description? Yes. Sorry, I was opening things to make sure I had it, everything ready to go. We just gotta step back, deliberately close the door behind us. The door is already Lock it shut. If possible. The door is already shut and already locked. So, excuse me. While you're describing that, I'm also going to spend a spell slot for for primeval awareness. Um, what else were you going to say, Thea? I'm not sure. Okay. I assume I we see nothing about the ramparts of this. Of the, of the wooden stockade over here. If you're referring to like no a, creatures walking around on sentry or something. Oh, the wooden ramparts? No, you don't see anything, anything or anyone moving around above it, or above the battlements for that matter. Um, real quick, before you start moving, Adrian, uh, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Thea. Roughly, how tall are the? I guess these are stone ramparts up here, and the wooden uh, palisade down here. Roughly, what? So, so we can't see the base of the fortress, the, like the where the where the wall meets the ground from where we are. So, it, how tall is it? Can't really say for sure. We can see the tops of the wooden palisade uh, rising above the crown of the hill, but we can't see the base of the palisade either. If we want to know more about the dimensions, we have to get closer and on the same level. Does that make sense? I do apologize. I meant to add lines to indicate like the slope, I mean, the different levels of the slope, but oh well. Um, real quick before you move further, Adrian. So Aaron spends a spell slot for primeval awareness. Um, and drops back hard against the on the unseen wall of the demi plane. Um, I don't know what the name of this is, but I felt this before. Adrian, do you remember that diamond mine where Thea stole so many diamonds from the little lizard folk people? The really horrible, terrible predator I sensed? Yeah, I'm sensing it here. Demon thingy. Hey. Well, I don't sense demons. I don't, I don't sense any um, fiends. I don't sense any undead. I don't sense aberrant. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. Varen just kind of looks at you oddly. And by the way, you can take an inspiration point for Lord of the Rings. I don't recognize that, that what you're spouting at all. But whatever this is, it's something big, primal, dangerous. Um, Varen is going to reach out and try... Go ahead. 
I was gonna ask Agent, is he thinking about the dragon-like creature that we saw in the very bottom of that cave? Or uh, is he thinking to remember some type of more scorpion-like demonic creature that we encountered before that? The dragon-like creature you would refer to more as a flying lizard, because we don't have a word for it. Just FYI. Alright. No worries. Which doesn't matter. <laughs> but wh which creature are you referring to, Adrian? Or Varen, sorry, wrong name. Um, the scorpion, the thing with the scorpion pincers, that was a fiend. The other thing, the one that could fly, yeah, that was something different. I don't know what it was. I'm guessing you're sensing the latter, though. Yeah, I said I'm not, I'm not sensing fiend. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm having a little hard time with the interference. No okay. worries, you're fine. Tech you know, hardware and technical issues, I get it. Um, does anyone want long strider? Should we... We want to try and work around? I imagine the stone might be more climbable if we want to try and... enter quietly. It's not a friend. It's a foe. Adrian, your call. How do you want to approach this fortress? And also, uh, I did ask, does, can... does anyone want Longstrider? Because I'm going to cast it on myself, but does anyone else want it? Can't hurt. I'd like to move. I'd like to move quickly. I think quickly means I get to move more. But yes, please. Uh, Adrian, how about yourself? Do you want Dia's Longstrider? Gonna... Go ahead, sir. And go ahead, Dia. Um, I actually... Mm. Noted, sir. Unless I can see... Unless Thea can see something that's not clear on the map. I, I kind of want to aim for whatever it seems like it might be the most discreet way to, way, way to approach. But from what I can tell, it seems like kind of just swinging around to the left and up towards this area might be the most discreet approach. Possibly. Just for ease of visibility, you might want to use a different color than maroon. Just saying. Uh, Adrian, how do you want to approach? Um, and I will. So, Varen is going to attempt to cast uh, Long Shredder at second level on himself and Thea. However, Varen goes to cast the spell, and the shadows that fill this realm. Breathe and writhe. Oh. Um, Thea? What happened? I screwed up. What'd you do? I, I tried to erase my line, and I think I erased everything. Uh, your token included? I don't know, the entire screen went black. Okay, yeah, you erased your character token. No worries, I get you out of there. I apologize. Gotta be, gotta be careful Thank with you. that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> The shadows wreathe and writhe and crawl up Varen's body. Varen must make a wisdom check in order to cast a spell. I use my offhand to like draw my dagger and slash at those things. Uh, the shadows? Um, you said you pulled out a longbow, so no. Uh, with a twenty-two, I was Varen use does. My off well, well, hold on, Varen does succeed. This is not a physical. Interaction. This is a, a mental and spiritual one. For reference, this is a regional effect. Any attempt to deliberately cast spells requires succeeding on a wisdom check. This does not apply to reflex spells like shield, um, or magic items like spell scrolls or augmentor. Thea Varen did succeed, so you get a plus five, uh, plus ten to your movement speed. So you should have a movement speed of forty-five. Thank you. Stealthily, you two spread out from me and have me. How hard was it? Uh, you don't know how hard it was. Uh, Adrian is going. So Adrian, you're going to approach the wooden palisade or follow the route that Theo is suggesting.
Okay, uh, Adrian's gonna head straight to the palace. Okay, Theo, you were going to make a comment? You already answered it. Ah, I'm glad I could help. Alright, Adrian, this is difficult terrain. Please move yourself. Uh, do, you, do you want to take an action to dash, or do you want to just move your basic movement for, uh, first? It is relevant. Adrian's going to try and be a highly visible target and have Thea flank and Adrian, uh, Baron flank, hopefully unseen. We'll see if this works. So Adrian, as I said, pardon me, go ahead and move yourself. Your movement speed is 40, yes? So move yourself 20 feet out or 40 feet if you want to dash. All right. So the first thing that happens Adrian, you stop. You move out to that point, stopping there. Yes. Oh no. Uh, so you're dashing right now. Yes. Okay. So before you do anything, Thea, Adrian, you come to a stop right there, and from the ground, vines and thorns suddenly erupt, twisting and tangling all about you, sir. I need from you, Adrian. A, hold on, kind of in the way there, give me one second, boom. All right, Adrian, please give me a dexterity saving throw. Else be restrained. Adrian, you are restrained in the vines, caught with your legs and limbs all tangled together in the midst of these poking, scratching plants. Uh, let's do this. Real quickly, restrained means you are, your speed is zero, you cannot benefit from any bonus. All attack rolls against you have advantage, all of your attack rolls have disadvantage. You also have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So these just rip up out of the ground, dripping with shadows, and entangle Adrian in one sudden movement. Thea? I'm terribly sorry. At this point, we're going to go ahead and roll for initiative. So please click on your tokens Checking. and... My previous hiding... Yes, your previous hiding check... Um, sorry. Ouch. Your, your previous stealth check is in a pl in a, um in play, but bear in mind there's no visual yeah. cover. Uh, thank you all for that. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I've been seen or not, but it is still an effect as far as I know. That's not supposed to be there. Give me one second. Go away, you. There we go. Sorry, I think there's something else. All right. You over here, so you're out of the way. And put you over there. All right. Adrian, it is the start of your it is the start of your turn. Before you do anything else, please give me a constitution saving throw, sir. Okay, Thea, please roll me. Oh, actually, uh, Adrian, you do have Indomitable. Do you want to re-roll that? Because that is a fail. Fair call. Please give me another Constitution saving throw, sir. Okay, that is an 11. If you want to spend your inspiration point for advantage, you can. Your call. No, all right. Thea, please roll me two. Delta 10 
poison damage. Adrian, you are now poisoned as the shadows dripping from these vines sting deep into you. No, I said 2d10, not 1d10. Oh, you rolled it twice. Okay, my bad. Uh, you so did. Yeah. It was, we'll do a, this for poison. Wrong no worries. Adrian, you take a total of 16 points of poison damage. You are poisoned until you take a short rest or find another means of curing poison, such as um, the aloe-scented ointment that we have. All right, so you are now poisoned. You've taken your poison damage, I think. Uh, you are now free to take your actions, sir. You can attempt to force your way free of the vines, or cut your way free. If you happen to have your sword available. Did you mention what weapon you pulled out? Thank you, Pia. You have disadvantage on attack rules and ability checks. I had my sword. And I had my bow. But Thea did not have her axe. Was that Thea? I was laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, I get an inspiration point. Uh, Adrian, did you want uh, to attempt to... You said you for your scimitar, your... Um, uh, sanguine nonetheless. Adamantine scimitar! Attacking with a 13. That does... Wait, nope, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Roll it one more time, we'll go into look. It's gonna be harder to get lower than a two without getting in that one. Okay, so that 13 stands. You deal seven points of damage. Pardon me. You do actually hit, by the way. You have two more attacks to you, sir. Thank you for remembering disadvantage. That hits. You've dealt 17 points of slashing damage. You have a final attack, Adrian. So I know it says in Act 12, but the way I designed this, that actually still does hit. Uh, but only for four, 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 four half damage. Which is actually still what you needed. If you deal enough damage, you are no longer restrained. You are still poisoned. Oh, wrong button. This button. Here we go. You cut the vines and entangling thorns away. Reel a little bit. And I have a question for you, sir. Do you want to try to walk through this barrier of thorns? Uh, so you need something that... That's a clarifying question. In one moment. Uh, you would need to um, have something that specifically cures poison. So either a short rest, or maybe one of the doses of that aloe-scented um, ointment that we got from Runs Like Water's uh, cave. As far as like uh, the various potions that we currently have, none of them, um, like the, for example, the uh, part. things like heart sand poultice. Um, or hack and leaf bruise, they do not cure poison, they only restore hit points. Uh, Thea, what's your clarifying question? Uh, as Adrian hacked away these uh, vines and set himself free, it damaged the entire. Not the entire. vines around him? No, Just only the, the one square that he's on. Only the one square that he's on. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Please carefully delete your circles. Please do not delete Adrian's token. Bye. Adrian, do you, um, so I hope I answered your question. You need something that specifically cures po the poison condition. 
Uh, examples would include, I think, greater restoration or lesser restoration. I guess I'll double check. Uh, what? What? I believe we would have brought the Staff of Healing with us. Uh, the Aloe stuff... Um, the Lesser Restoration spell would cure the poisoned condition. Uh, yes, you would have to wait until your next turn. We recall because who you, carried the hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you you already used your action to attack. Uh, Staff of Healing does cast Lesser Restoration. Um, as far as like who actually holds the jar with the Aloe Sensitive um, uh, ointment, I believe that was Thea, but I could be wrong. It's been a few weeks since we last played. Sorry. Uh, while he is thinking on that, Adrian, do you want to walk through the vines surrounding you, or do you want to use another option? Options include flight, or you're staying put. Noted, sir. Um, or you could also just try and jump. Just saying. Uh, but if that's it for you, Adrian. wish to end your turn there, sir. Noted. Alright, we move to Varen's turn. Seeing this happen, Varen is going to move forward. Um, seeing, also seeing that Adrian is basically... So vines spring up all around Adrian. Adrian yells, gets poisoned, and just does a spinning draw from his with his sword, and just cuts himself clear over the vines. Varen starts towards Adrian, kind of with, you know, some concern on his face, sees Adrian just chop his way clear, and it's like, oh, he's fine, I'm gonna go around. Uh, I do get to use uh, Land Strike here. So I'm gonna go here. And seeing what just happened, I'm going to take the, um, da -da 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 -da, I'm gonna take the dash action. Basically, I'm trying to do what um, Baron, I'm sorry, what Adrian suggested. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to stop here, that's my action to dash. I'm going to use my bonus action to attempt to hide. However, Thea, you take special note of this, because you see that Baron is trying to be stealthy with it. Holy mackerel. I think that's one of my best bonus action stealth checks yet. Uh, Baron goes to slide and dip down into the shadows to try and hide, and there's a crashing noise of thunder all around the Baron, and flashes of sparkling light highlighting his position, as though the atmosphere itself is preventing him from hiding. And Baron now has to make a dexterity saving throw, as vines start ripping up out of the ground all around him. Um, I gotta double check something. Pretty sure. Yes, okay. Uh, dexterity saving throw, and thanks to Landstride, I do have advantage. And thanks to no longer being exhausted, I don't have the exhaust condition imposing disadvantage. Yay! 26 is a success. Varen is surrounded by vines, but not restrained. Thea, we moved. Oh, oh, one other thing. Varen moves to there, and in that moment, as just as the vines are ripping free of the ground, there's a howl that's very familiar. It sounds like gibbering, insane laughter. 
from the perhaps west of our position. And off to the, we suppose, relative east. <laughs> I might switch swords. Adrian starts thinking. We can just hear the bellows of furious forks. From the fortress on the crown of the hill comes a horrifying, thunderous roar of a primal predator. And up over the battlements comes sweeping into view a flying, enormous, lizard-like creature. Whose turn it happens to be next? I should probably know his movement speed. Just saying. Da, 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 da. There it is. Okay. So unfortunately, he's gonna have to dash or get anywhere near us. So he is, let's say. Roughly, um, I'm gonna call it about a hundred feet off the ground from where we currently are, from where Baron and Agent, eh, Agent basically are on the hillside. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, that was his action to dash. So he dashed, da, 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 da. and that is, that's going to conclude his turn. Uh, excuse me. The orcs off to our relative east, since we don't know how far they are actually. They are going to charge at us. Shocking, I right know. Uh, Adrian, you take note of this especially. Thea, you also note. Baron is just kind of like, whoa, 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 enemies everywhere! The orcs do not seem impeded by the ground. So they're going to move to there, and they're going to hurl their javelins in one massive volley at Baron. Five range attacks. Thank goodness I'm not restrained. Let's see how this goes. That misses, that misses, that misses, that misses. They all miss! Baron just sees these this hail of javelins come soaring through the air and he goes, Oh my goodness! And Zerit starts twisting between them as they thunk into the vines and hedge about him. And now there's just like a little picket line of javelins sticking up out of the ground all around Baron. Baron just goes, Oh, okay. So that was their bonus and their action. Thea, it is now your turn. What would you like to do, Thea? As it becomes apparent that... I can't glance. Does it, do these look vines... Go ahead. These vines look like I could actually hide in within them or not? You can attempt to do so. I will say... You did see Baron try to hide, and the land, I'm sorry, the atmosphere started flashing and thundering all around him, exposing his position. You might also note that the vines and hedge all about Adrian are full of very wicked looking thorns that are dripping liquid shadow. So you can try and do so if you wish. I personally don't recommend it. What would you like to do? For the moment, I'll loose an arrow at one of these. I think they're go uh, no, sorry. They are gnolls. Loose an arrow right here. Their bodies are wreathed with shadow, but their form their silhouettes are familiar. Um, like I said earlier, your stealth check passed for the the purpose of 
um, being unheard. You don't have visual cover, but you do have skulker, so you are still technically hidden. You have advantage on your attack roll. Since all of their attention is currently on Adrian and Baron. Sharpshooter into play. That is 23 minus 5. Tick, 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 tick. That is 18 to hit. Try and hit them. You're targeting this one, right? Just to confirm. The lead one. The lead one, okay. Uh, 18 to hit. Hang on. Oh, might help if I'm using the right button. There we go. 18 does hit. Holy mackerel. 10 from the arrow. That is 47 sneak attack and 10 sharpshooter for a total of 67 damage. Um, it's rare that we see an arrow decapitate a foe, but it does occasionally happen with you. <laughs> I'll buy you a second, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, congratulations. Uh, we have you one second. I think for the moment I'll move here. Okay. This is risky, Bummer. Bonus. I think I'm. Oh, I think I'm a bonus action. It's risky, but I'm gonna try. So you do get advantage as a result of not having moved more than half of your um, total movement speed. Oh. Whoops. I just realized I set my. I mean, not that it matters, but I set myself up for disadvantage earlier, not advantage. <laughs> no, not that it matters. You hit either way. I'm sorry, you said I have advantage on the on the bonus action hide attempt? Yes. Okay, we'll see if this actually does anything for me or if it's just an automatic bad news. So, that's an amazing stealth roll. You go to slip into the shadows that are hugging the ground and instantly lights start flashing all about you. There's a painful ringing of thunder in your ears. Your stealth check, though successful, is negated. Your position is exposed. Um, for clarification, by negated, do you mean it definitely did not work, or the effect is diminished? The effect did not take place. This is a regional effect of this land. Uh, excuse me, okay, okay. land. I, I just, I, yeah. I just need a little clarification as to whether that was an automatic no, it doesn't happen, or if that was just a reduced... Okay. No problem. You have moved 10 feet out of your 45, but that's actually 20 feet because it's difficult terrain. So you have 25 feet of movement remaining. Do you want to move anywhere else or end your turn? I'll move here, and I'll see if I can use an interaction to open the door. Uh, the door does not move. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he is like, I'm out of your bye! <laughs> oh no! I'm trying to think of what, if anything, I can actually work with out of this environment. <laughs> we were, we were warned... We were warned that this domain would not necessarily conform to our ideas of reality. Move back up, but uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. That is the end of the end. Thea does Excuse have the staff of healing with her. I think you already mentioned that, correct? Uh, yes. Because I think you're the only one who can actually use it without Dell. Uh, you are the only one who can use it without Dell. Thea, please give me a dexterity saving throw as vines rip up out of the ground all around you. Ooh, pardon me. That is a 17. Alright, Thea. You are restrained in the vines. 
You are caught and your movement speed is reduced to zero. And that is... I went too far. That is the end of your turn. Uh, oh, uh, since that was the end of your turn, so me. Uh, the enormous lift flying lizard is going to use a lair action and utter a shattering roar. Uh, I believe Varen is the only one currently who has any magical effect active on him at the moment, yes? No, I'm sorry, Thea also has one. Thea, please give me an intelligence check. Okay, well, that one's not good. Um, so, Longstrider goes away on you, as the roar effectively casts Dispel Magic. Right, we move to the Knolls. So adjust your speed back to 35. Ouch. These two are going to rush to here. There we go. Uh, and they're both going to hurl spears at you, Adrian. You are no longer restrained in the vine, so no, disadvan no advantage for them. How lucky for you. Did you put your shield prior to coming to this? I don't remember. Well, never mind. One's a net 20. The other misses. Good to know that you have your shield equipped. However, that spear scrapes you in the back for 11 damage. Varen Howls. Uh, that was their action. These two are going to step up to here. Silly me. And they are also going to hurl spears, but at Thea. Thea, you are restrained, so they have advantage on these. Let's see if the system works. Hey, it put advantage on them. I'm pretty sure your armor class is 20, isn't it? Yes. So both those attacks. So those are both misses. Woohoo! Uh, all right. Top they of the to round. The thorns. So, I'm sorry. What's the they go into the thorns all around you. Just tunk, tunk, and you're like, oh, thanks. Uh, all right. Um, oh, actually, Adrian, you are not restrained by the vines, so you do not have to make another Constitution saving throw. What would you like to do, sir? There's a lot happening all of a sudden, yes? Lightning bolt! Alright! Uh, I think uh, I'll pull... Do you want me to pull out the spell effect for you, or do you got it? Just drop it out there for you. I think you can arrange it how you want. Where would you like it to go, sir? Oh, and I almost forgot there's a regional effect in play here. Um, Adrian, in order to cast this spell, I need from you a wisdom check. You can have an um, advantage on it if you want to use your inspiration point. Using inspiration point for advantage. Can you pull the will together against the clinging, despairing shadows? As I briefly run out of air, man, it's good grief. Unfortunately, no. So for your earlier question, Thea, 
Oh wait, actually, Adrian, do you have Lightning Bolt as a Spell Scroll or no? If you have it as a Spell Scroll, you can cast it without the ability check. Alright, I am very sorry, sir. Lightning Bolt does not cast. However, you do not expend the spell slot. Nor is, no, and you do still have your action. All that happens here is that basically you, you try to pull enough will together to cast the spell and it just doesn't come together. Frustrated, you turn from your usual, re reliable, usually reliable magic to other options. Okay, fire element. Are you re referencing uh, uh, Avatar Last Airbender? Nope, okay, fair enough. Sanguine nonetheless ignites in your hand. Um, I'm, uh, so you would have had to drop your scimitar. Bonus actions, or interaction, I assume bonus actions, summon Sanguine nonetheless. Using your, art, uh, um, weapon bond. Noted. Let's see how well fire can banish the darkness. You still have your action and your movement, sir. Um, what are you attacking? Just out of curiosity. Because you kind of have to get this. Oh, you're attacking the vines themselves. Um. So, like, the ones, the ones ahead of you or something? Like, which way are you trying to go? No worries about the advantage. Uh, this button. Finger. Are you trying to go this way? This way? This way? Where are you trying to go? To the east. So you're trying to go that way. All right. So you attack the vines here. Um, you hit for 11 damage, and these are vines. Fire does double damage, so that's actually 22 damage. You are able to proceed uh, using difficult. It is still difficult terrain, but I'm not going to require you to make. Um, where is it? Regional effects. I'm not going to require you to do further dexterity saving throws if you go through vines that you can destroy. Does that make sense? Okay. You do have the poison condition, so attackers should be at a disadvantage. Please make uh, that alteration of your character sheet. And while you consider your next move, make a quick little adjustment here. There you go. That green line indicates a safe movement area for you. So that five foot, a five foot movement costs you ten feet of speed. Anything else for you, Adrian? Attacking the next one. Fifteen hits for a total of twenty-four damage. There you are. You have a means clear of the hedge. So you've used 20, 30, 40. Wait. Yeah, okay. My brain. Alright, so you've gone the total of your movement speed and used your action to attack your way through the vines. You've used your bonus action. Anything else for you, Adrian? left if you've got anything. What do you see 
you on your plate, sir. Um, growing your sword is going to be an improvised attack, and it's about a hundred feet up in the air. So, good idea. A little out of your range. <laughs> no worries. I love that. I'm gonna throw my sword in there. Oh, he's rather high up there. Uh, never mind. <laughs> New plan. Going to start hacking your way into the next hedge. Alright, disadvantage on the attack. Let's see it. That hits for another 22 fire damage on the vines. So that is now an open passageway. Um, that is your act the total of your action, your bonus action, and your movement. Anything else for you, sir? Nope. Alright, that means you end your turn. Adrian, please give me a dexterity saving throw. You are restrained, Adrian. Unless you want to use Indomitable. Wait, um, why are you rolling disadvantage on the save? Uh, roll your, um, your, your dexterity save is at normal. No worries. Just keep it in mind. <clears throat> Pardon me. So if you want to use Indomitable, please roll your Dexterity Saving Throw one more time. Well, that's a success, and you are not restrained, Adrian. Yay, Indomitable! Anything else for you, sir? Wait, no, of course not. You ended your turn. Yeah! Way to go, Adrian. Uh, speaking of ending your turn, we move to Varen, who is not restrained. He does see a bunch of orcs coming rushing, and they can move really fast. So, Adrian, excuse me, Baron is going to attempt a wisdom check. Let's see what he can do. A nat, a 20. Baron's gonna cast a spell. Watch your step, orcs! Thank you, sir. Uh, that is my action to cast. Characters, spell, effect, turn. This is spike rose. And I'm gonna place it so that they all hurt. There. So basically, they have a whole long ways to go through thorny ground. <laughs> so that's my action. I am concentrating on that. That button. Uh, all things considered, I'm going to stay where I am. I feel pretty good about this. And I'm seeing that moving across this ground seems to summon a bunch of nasty little vines, so I don't really want to trigger more of them coming up. Right. Adrian, you're mired in all the in this hedge of vines, and there's a rather loud roar from above you. Flying 80 feet down, so it's only 20 feet off the ground at this point. Let's see if I can adjust that. 20, not 200. Silly me. Uh. Uh. Da, 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 da. All right. Adrian, Thea, and Varen all must make wisdom saving throws as it's as this creature is going to use its frightful presence. This is against fear. Uh, Thea, that is a fail. Adrian?
Uh, Adrian, are you there? Ah, there you are. Uh, Adrian, thank you for that, Thea. Frightened, uh, status. Condition. Condition. Adrian, that nine is a fail. Do you want to use an indomitable or wait? You want to use an indomitable? Then re roll, sir. Unfortunately, Indomitable does not come through for you this time. And Varen is going to use Steel Will for advantage. Let's see if this helps Varen at all. Okay, all three of us are now frightened. So Steel Will did not help Varen. No! Even Varen's Steel Will is not enough. Let's do this for fear. shaking in our boots um it is however unfortunately not able to close to distance and do uh, melee attacks against you adrian so it's going to hover right there the orcs are going to start charging who's ready to make sure that they're ready for most deep orcs all right see ya please roll me Six Delta Four. Six Delta Four, if you please. Uh, that is 12 damage. And then bonus action dash. Adrian, please roll me six Delta Four. Oh gosh, that's a fair. Six Delta Four, please. <laughs> that we're running into a bit of a delay on your insert. Yeah, that, 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 orc, that orc is dead. Very, very dead. The other one bites the dust. Alright, um, there he is. Yeah, me and all me. Six Delta Four. Well, he dies right there. I'm not sure what the 16 oh, is. I hit a button by accident. No worries. That, that is just the wrong button. Ignore that. Ignoring. So that guy moves only his regular movement and dies. Adrian, six Delta Four, if you please. Okay, well, he dies on top of his buddy. put him on the map layer. Okay, Orc with the missing tongue is going to rush forward at Baron. Thea, six Delta Four if you please. And Adrian just for the sake of it, six Delta Four. So that guy is still alive. And he is alive no more. Thea, 6 Delta 4, please. Excellent, all the orcs are dead. And because of that epic slaughter, I will give both of you an inspiration point. 
Is it works or no longer in play. That's the spike growth symbol. Okay. Thea, you are at your turn. You are restrained in the vines. Please give me a constitution saving throw against poison. Okay, Thea, you are now poisoned. Adrian, please. A question. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. We forgot about this. Um, that's my fault. Actually, I should have mentioned it on the first round, but I was wondering if you'd allow it. Not right now. But basically, ten positions in the round counter later. If you'd allow this to take effect on the second round. Because this is something we're still getting used to, and we've only had like what three or four fights at this level. I'm willing to allow it um, on this round. So yeah, so it's just add... basically the same rules, but we'll just apply it to the second round instead of the first. Pretty much. So you'll time. take another turn at um, on initiative count ten. Thea, okay. uh, you are poison. Yeah, Adrian. Same Do I not even get a turn? Well, I'm getting there. Hold on. Uh, Adrian. Oh, okay. Please roll me two Delta 10 poison damage for Thea. Thea, you are currently poisoned. And you also take five points of poison damage. As I mentioned, you are restrained in the vines. And you are also frightened. Oof, pardon me. What would you like to do, Thea? Trying to figure that out, honestly. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Um, Baron gets to make a saving throw at the end of his turn. Thea, at the end of your turn, you will make a wisdom saving throw against the Frightful Presence. I'm retroactively rolling Baron's right now. Oh, wait. Uh, never mind. I am mistaken on that part. At the end of your turn, you'll roll a saving throw. Go ahead with your turn. Okay. I think for now, I'll just simply lose an arrow. Okay, you have disadvantage on the attack. Ruling Null. Ruling Null is your target. Disadvantage on your attack. No sneak attack. A 14 is a glancing blow. Let's see the damage. That is 6 instead of 13. Sorry, wrong way. Uh, 7, sorry. 7 damage, not 13. Anything else for you, Thea? Just gotta double check one quick thing. Certainly. I can't really move anywhere, can I? Not while you're restrained. Um, that would take like an action to try, even try and get out of. Correct. You would have to use an action to try and force your way through through with a strength check. Don't think a bonus action allowing me to use an object would allow me to try for that, would it? You're referring to fast hands. Uh, can you put that up in the chat, please? Fast hands. Fast hands allows for the gas yeah, disengage a hide. No, th this is cunning action. Please put up fast hands. Oh, sorry, my mistake. No worries. You know what? I'll accept to use an object here. You're trying to manipulate the vines to get them you know, pulled off your body. You are poisoned and frightened, so give me a strength check at disadvantage. This is a straight strength check, not um, uh, athletics. Okay, well you are not free to the vines. Okay, well. Nice try. <laughs> I'm idea. pretty sure I can guess that one. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Good idea. Not quite um, working. I mean, I guess that's the end of my turn. 
All right, wisdom saving throw. This is not like at, it. Wisdom saving throw at normal. Oh, wait, sorry, at disadvantage because your the source of your fear is inside. how that works. Checking. I'll put fear back up in just a quick moment. Huh. You know what? There's no disadvantage on your wisdom saving throw. So we'll go with the 18, which is not a success. So you are still frightened. Sorry. Alright. The gnolls. The hopping knoll is going to split to the north. Hopping along. The limping knoll is going to split to the south. Uh, Adrian, you are not restrained, so both these attacks are at normal at you, sir. Oh, that one. I don't need that one anymore. Uh, and they don't seem to be affected by the difficult terrain? They do not seem to be affected by it, no. Here come the attacks that you had normal. That was almost a nat 20. Adrian, you sense them coming and you put your shield in the way. Thea, you are restrained, so these attacks do have advantage at you on you. As the limping knoll and the bleeding knoll take any and take umbrage with you for your attack. So I get a quadruple miss. Bummer kind of unepic. And we are now at your second turn, Thea. Now, I can I can suggest to you, if you don't mind. Do you, would you like yeah, a suggestion? Hello <laughs> for shields for Adrian indeed. Go ahead. Um You have disadvantage on attacks. You can try to attack it might be better to use a magic item because remember that the the um the despair of this land only affects deliberate castings of spells not the use of magic items so you could attempt to use lesser rest to use the staff of healing whoops you could attempt to use the staff of uh, lesser of uh, healing to cast lesser restoration on yourself or possibly adrian i'm not sure about the range uh, not on Aiden. It is a range of touch. Does that make sense? Yes. I have no idea if I'm attuned to this thing or not. Because it does require attunement. Um, we did have a long rest before coming here. I'm okay with saying that you would have attuned to it, especially since you were going to bring it with, since Doug can't even use it. Okay. Um. I mean, so so long as I'm stuck here in the vines, I'm not being continually stabbed by them. Um. You're not being continuously stabbed by them. No. It's only when you're trying to move through them. Okay. In that case. In that case, yes, I will use the staff to try to, to figure All right. out. Hold on. Let's do restoration costs two charges from the staff of healing. Charges. That's the one I need for. Um. So far as you know, Adrian, you're not sure because you haven't seen them interact with the thorns. Um. So yeah, yeah, you. You are now no longer poisoned. However, you are still restrained. Oh, so give me just a moment here. I'm trying to help. No, just give me just staff of healing. Where are you? Yeah. Uh, Adrian, in your response to your question, um, they have not gone into the area of thorns, even though they could have. Does that mean that they would be affected by them? You're not entirely sure. Please give me... I would accept either insight or... Um, 
take uh, investigation. While he's working on that, how many javelins are they carrying? Like, are they carrying a multitude, or is it just the one each? You're not sure. Adrian, they are making a studied effort to go around the hedges, rather than into the hedges. Thea, while you are restrained by the vines, at the beginning of every turn, um... I would like to... Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to use my bonus action to try and release myself from the vines. I already used All my right. action on the staff, but I was going to use my bonus action again. Very well. You have disadvantage on ability checks while the source of your fear is within line of sight. So the easy solution here is close your eyes. And then it's not in your line of sight anymore. Be honest, I interpreted that differently because line of sight didn't indicate actually seeing, just fine. granted. But uh, I, I understand that that yeah. that approach, but I'm 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 nice. I'm a nice DM, despite this. Okay, so nasty normal, upset. normal, normal, right, normal check. dexterity save, strength check to try and break free. Check. Uh, Adrian, in response to you, it seems likely. Thea, I'm sorry, you're, no, you're still restrained. These lines are tough. I'm just going to I'm just going to see what the disadvantage will change. Not and much. <laughs> Alright, Thea, that is the end of your sorry. thieves' reflexes. <laughs> that was funny. Adrian, you were poisoned. You were <laughs> yeah. frightened. Um, honestly, not much I just wanted changed. to see the what if on that. Right? right? Adrian, in all honesty, not much for you has really changed. I mean, Poison and Frightened basically impose the same sort of mechanical uh, uh, situation on you. You're not restrained, so you're not making, um, excuse me, you're not making save it, saves against Poison. But what would you like to do, sir? You're going to start hacking your way through again? Very well. Attack, Adrian. Attack. At disadvantage. Yeah, at disadvantage. Even though it doesn't really matter. Good thing you equipped it with fire. A 22 or 22 hit. Uh, that 6 fire damage becomes 12, and that's actually not enough to disrupt the vines there. A second attack from you, sir. They are very thick all about you, sir. They seem determined to hold you in place. Uh, that will do it. Your way is clear. That becomes 12 plus 20. <laughs> wow, what's with the massive aura there? Thea trying to gauge uh, attack lines? I was just... Well, I was trying to gauge, like, if I was to move anywhere, I can't move anywhere into that circle. Actually, that's a good point. Adrian, I don't think the you can actually condition. draw closer to... Uh, yeah, you can't really draw, go in that direction because you're frightened of that particular creature. So while you can cut that past, you can't actually move into it. So you want to go that way, or do you oh, want to different? My apologies, way? Agent. Noted. Oop, wrong button. Wrong button. Go back. That was not what I meant to do. So Adrian, the, the new direction that you wanted is clear.
Okay, so hang on one second. So, real quick, your two attacks did clear out this spot, so you can move into that one right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then where are you attacking with this uh, third attack, the nat one for 12? Okay, uh, that does hit, and it does enough damage so you can move yourself into that square. There you go. Alright, you do still have your, uh, so let's see, you need 10, 20, you have 20 feet remaining. And you say action surge again. Or again, sorry, action surge. All right, what do you want to do, Adrian? Are you dashing with your action surge or a teleport? Teleport. Arcane charge in effect. So you were here and then you teleported to where you are now. Okay. You still have 20 feet of movement remaining. And uh, whatever it is you want to do with your action surge. Your action surge does. I wish we could get your voice. I'm so sorry that we ended up for whatever reason we can't. Ah, a hack and loot room. Gonna heal yourself up for the next for uh whatever we're doing next, eh? Please roll your restorative points. Bear in mind that this only is going so if I may, Adrian, before you actually roll that, um, you could just use a bonus action to second win. You're only missing about seven hit points. Hack and Leaf will not restore the, um, will not undo the poison, the condition. Down 30 seconds. Oh, my bad. Very well. Action surge, uh, action surge for Hack and Leaf away. I was looking at the wrong numbers. Yeah, I know. It's hard to read when I'm this far zoomed out. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, you regained 28 hit points. Nice. That basically undoes all the damage that was done to you thus far. Good grief. <laughs> da, 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 da. Did you want to do, try anything with your bonus action, sir? Fully healed, so I don't recommend second win. Uh, if you want to do so, please give me a wisdom check at disadvantage. In 
inspiration point to normal work. Yes, sir. Wisdom check is not enough. I apologize. The gloom of this realm eats away at your will and refuses to allow you to pull enough power together to cast a spell. Uh, anything else for you, Adrian? No, alrighty. Adrian, Wisdom Saving Throw and Dexterity Saving Throw, if you please. Wisdom Saving Throw for the Deer, Dexterity Saving Throw as Vine's Return. You're building a very interesting hedge on us, just say that. Okay, you are still frightened. Um, I'm not sure why you're rolling Dexterity Saving Throw at a disadvantage. Uh, I think it's a poison. Um, that's only on ability checks and saving throws. Uh, sorry, ability checks and attack rolls. My bad. The saving throw it, it does not apply to, so we'll go with the 23 instead of the 11. Adrian, you are not restrained by the vines. Yeah, I'm sure that's a relief. Poison roll. Uh, poison only affects attack rolls and ability checks not saving throws. Seeing how difficult it is to cast spells right now, Baron is going to... Baron is going to attack these two that are um, bothering you, Thea. I'm not restrained, but I am frightened. So at disadvantage, I'm going to... Hold on using my inspiration point. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for this first shot. So I have advantage. I'm going to target the wounded knoll. So I'm gonna make my first attack at normal. And it's a knoll, so I'm going to use my ar um, arctic arrow. Uh, my cold, cold arrow. Icicle arrows. Sheesh. Colossus Slayer if I hit. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, the 25 is gonna hit because I'm ignoring cover, half cover. Uh, so that becomes uh, 11. 11 points of damage. You have an X. Okay. Tell you what. I will allow you to go ahead and use it, and let your save your previous saving throws stand. Where would you have moved if you had successfully cast Expeditious Retreat? Very entryway. Then please go ahead and place yourself there.
wrong way. Nah, that'll work. Whoa, what just happened? Adrian, within you see a pool of blood-filled, very dark-looking water. There are ripples in the water as something is moving beneath. Does that make sense for you? I think that will work. <laughs> in point of fact, there are multiple ripples from multiple directions. So there's multiple things underneath the water. Uh, Varen's first attack was a hit on with Colossus Slayer on that middle over there. Varen's going to attack him once more. Uh, this time with disadvantage. Uh, no Colossus Slayer. One cold arrow down. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Okay, well, 28 instead of 31 means I hit for 9 damage, and that guy's very, very dead. There are, Thea, you just see two icicles suddenly appear where the gnoll's eyes were. <laughs> dum, dum, drop. Um, I'm going to stay where I am. I'm actually kind of liking my spot right now. Uh, and I'm end of my turn. So I get a wisdom saving throw with advantage because of steel will. Can I pull it together? No! Varen is still very frightened. Alrighty. Varen's turn ends. I heard you for a few seconds, so I just wanted to check if you're still there. Can you hear me? Uh, oops. I'm going to delete that later. Uh, Thea, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Alright, so as it's this just, thing it's starts. It just sounded like you cut off more than sentence, so I was just. Gotcha. Uh... Adrian, this flying creature is going to come at you with its tail and its can't actually do that with its tail. It's going to attack you with its bite, because that's the only attack that can reach you. Here comes the bite. I get a 17. Look at the damage that would have hit you. And then it's going to descend uh, closer, and now it's going to use its claws. <laughs> so basically... It's Basic oh and that one. Bomber. And then a 17. So that's all of its attacks. <laughs> hey grandma, what big teeth you have? Bad day, bad day, bad day! <laughs> you can both take an inspiration point. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, yeah, to do with it, then yeah. Um, Thea, you are restrained still. Uh, you cannot be poisoned again. However, let me check my regional effects. Uh, yeah, okay. That's on. Wait, you're not poisoned anymore, but you are restrained. Okay, does he have any constitution saving throw? Uh, I'm sorry, that, that got a lot of garbled. Uh, yes. He said, I am restrained, and you want a constitution saving throw? Correct. Because because you are restrained, please give me a constitution saving throw as your movements through these, uh, against these vines dig the thorns into you. That is a failure. Adrian, 2d10. Two two am I moving? Ten. Sorry? You're, no, you're struggling. Right there, you're, moving? you're not moving. It's more like you're struggling. Ow, ow, ow. Get these off me. Okay. Okay. Adrian, 2 okay. delta 10 poison, if you please. And Thea, you are now poisoned once again. 
as you take 8 points of poison damage. He said I'm poisoned again? You are poisoned again, and you are also frightened. And you are also restrained. What would you like to do, Thea? I guess I'll just take a pot shot of this knoll over here. Alright, let's see if your pot shot of that knoll succeeds. Well, that well, succeeds. That's a disadvantage, I think. It should be a disadvantage, yes. That pot shot succeeds. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Eleven, as that sh as that knoll is that bleeding knoll is suddenly bloody. Anything else for Zia? For example, you can use a bonus action to try and push your way th um free of the thorns with disadvantage. Guess it can't hurt. You can. I mean, the more times you try. Strength check. Disadvantage strength check. You are not free of the thorns. Alright. So that yeah, is the end, the end of your turn. turn. That is the end of your turn. Please give me a da, 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 da. a wisdom saving throw. I'm double checking. At normal. I had a question. That is not a success. Okay, go ahead. Not that I'm doing it. Not that I'm doing it right now, but just to check. If Thea was to use something like Misty Tep to teleport herself, would that be counted as moving movement for the purposes of whether or not I can move towards the subject of my fear? I'm gonna go with no. I would have to. I would so have to in theory, check if I wanted to, I could. Go ahead. In theory, if I wanted to, I could teleport closer to the dragon, even though I'm afraid of it. In theory, yes. Okay. Um, um, you know what? Looking at the frightened condition, I'm actually going to amend my statement and say no. You cannot willingly move closer to the source of your fear. And since the teleport would be putting you closer, and it is a willful act, I'm I, sorry, I, I have to say no. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright. Uh, the Hopping Knoll, seeing that Adrian is no longer where Adrian was, is going to go to here and hurl a spear at you, Adrian. Uh, you're not restrained, so no advantage for the spear. And then the limping knoll is going to attack Baron with another thrown spear with a nat 20. Ouch. That was 25, 30. All right, Baron is going to use his reaction. Ah, oh, excuse me. And gloves of missile snaring to try and reduce that damage from eight to um, two. Ow. That still hits. Okay, yeah. Alright, that was the limping knoll. Uh, the bleeding knoll, gasping from its sudden wound, is going to hurl a javelin at Thea. Sorry, a spear. It's going to hurl a spear at then there's a twenty. And that twenty. Uh, you can uncanny dodge that, Thea. Not really, it's only six point, uh, seven and points. And reduce the three points of damage? Reduce it, yes, to three points. Right. Okay. Top well, of the round. reaction. That's a round. No. Uh, top and of the round. And I have my reaction Adrian. back. And, yeah, you, <laughs> no, you, have, you get your reaction back at the start of your next turn, <laughs> not at the top of the round. Adrian, okay. I'm aware of the time. Yeah, fair enough, I just thought it was funny. Yeah, fair. Adrian. How are you doing on time, sir? You want to go a little bit longer, or are we going to call it here? Alright. 
Um, since we're dealing with some adjustments to time zones and everything, please keep aware of the time for me and let me know when you need to call it. All right. In the meantime, you are frightened. You are poisoned, but you are not restrained. What would you like to do, Adrian? Move into the blood. You're going to dive into the bloodied water. All right, swimming rules. You treat swimming, unless you have a swimming speed, kind of like, well, difficult terrain, really. So please move yourself one square into the water. Noted, uh, Dia, noted Dia. So this little courtyard inside of the palisade, Adrian, is full of this bloodied water. There are torches in, in various areas to, that are shedding this kind of pale, sickly light, and there's a disturbance in the water right there. The green. Keep your green thing in the blood water. What would you like to do, sir? You are in water um, that is bloodied and darkened. So I would say you've broken line of sight with basically everything. It's kind of like you're in fog cloud. Which means any attack you make right now. Um. Well, you're swimming right now. So it's pretty deep. Call it. I mean, you're not entirely sure, but your head's below the surface and your feet aren't touching the ground. So, because you can't see and you can't be seen in this bloodied and darkened water. Advantage and disadvantage meet and cancel each other out across the board. You make attack rolls as normal, sir. Very well. Attack that swimming lizard. No, no, I said attack at normal. So we'll go at 31 instead of 30. which would have been a nat 20. Oops, indeed. Uh, so that is 4 plus 5 plus 8, so 9 and 8, 17 damage. Watch that health bar. Your burning blade goes boiling through the bloodied water right past this thing's wooden shield, and you feel it dig deep into something possibly vital. You're welcome for giving you the crit, anyways. Anything else for you to say, uh, sir? I like my, but disturbing description. <laughs> Fair enough. I see your next next targeted creature, sir. Go for the attack. Thank you for remembering, and that's a 28 to hit, which hits for 9. You have one final attack, Adrian. Very well, the third one. Go for it. Stab him! Eventually it'll hit. That, yes, that'll hit for 13 fire damage. That's really hot, even under the water. You have one more square of movement to make. And then your bonus action dash.
Alright. You have completely broken line of sight with your foe. With your with that flying uh flying foe. Flying foe. I'm going to have you give me a wisdom saving throw at normal to see if you can break through the fear of this hideous flying snake creature. And that 20 means you are no longer frightened, Adrian. You break free of the fear. But you are still poisoned. <laughs> Pardon me. I will briefly lose my voice. <laughs> I imagine that was meant to be woohoo. Um, <clears throat> noted also, because you are swimming now instead of on the ground, no vines can spring up around you. That concludes your turn, Adrian. Varen. Hmm. Three knolls. One wounded, one not. Uh, Varen's going to use Landstride and the cover of this hedge to go here. I'm going to attack that one at disadvantage because I'm scared. And if I hit Colossus later. All things considered, I'm going to go ahead and use an ordinary arrow. Wow, I hope this hits. Gasp, it hits for 16 damage. Thank you, Colossus Slayer, as I roll maximum damage. Um, that's a dead null. By about 5 points. Thea, you are no longer being, um, bothered. So Baron's going to spin around and face that one now to the, to the north, uh, so to the relative south. Yes, no boss layer check. Uh, that also hits for seven. And end my turn in the hedges. And so wisdom saving throw an advantage. Steel will please help me out. I don't want to be scared of this big thing anymore. Nope, I'm still scared of the big thing. Yeah, that thing is ugly! Oh gosh! Excuse me, moving right along. Seeing as how Adrian is now behind the palisade, this thing comes skimming along the ground. Doesn't actually have to get that close, silly me. And it's going to start with its tail at Baron's face. That's going to hit now for 11 damage. Oh goodness, that hurts. There's just a with a a crack of thunder that's somewhat reminiscent of a whip crack, and then Baron going. Oh, oh, oh that hurts. Via, it is your turn. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the noise. What was that? <laughs> Ear! <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the big thing's making some noise. Say again? Your turn! I, I'm joking. But... Yeah, I know. <laughs> um. You are restrained, you are poisoned, not... and you are frightened. Let me see here, hold on. I mean, it can't get any worse, so I guess I'll just take a shot at this knoll down here. Alright, take the shot. Okay. This knoll down here. Disadvantage? Yep, disadvantage. No sneak attack. Well, that will hit for 8 damage. Well shot. And it's still alive. Wahaha. <laughs> uh, Thea, 
I, I will use my bonus action to try and break free of the vines. Excellent. Uh, normal or disadvantage? I don't recall. Disadvantage. You're still poisoned, you're still frightened, and you're still restrained. Okay, nope, you're still in the vines. There it is. All right. My turn. All right, then wisdom saving throw at normal, please. Unfortunately, you're still frightened. Sorry. Adrian, you're swimming. Um, let me put it this way. if I had their character sheet up so I could actually do something with them. It helped. They all, all these bodies start swimming right at you, Adrian. You and your burning blade, too. So there's one, two, three, four creatures that are going to attack you. Here's the first one that attacks. Missing. The second one is gonna this. Missing. The third one is gonna do this. Now missing. And the fourth one. And the fifth one's gonna dash in order to get up to. Okay, so only one is actually going to hit, Would you like, unless you want to cast Shield. Shield does not require a Wisdom check in order to be cast. And cast. Alright, you cast Shield, blocking the attack and taking no damage. Excellent, sir. Okay. So that is the lizard folks turn. There he is. Uh, to here. And to here. They're both dashing. Top of the round. Adrian, you are surrounded on all sides except behind you, sir. Um, and also above you and below you. You're also holding your breath and concentrating. Shield goes away. What would you like to do, sir? You're attacking the one to the north. Oh, it's the one straight ahead of you. My bad. Go ahead with your attack, sir. And that one is a miss, Adrian. I apologize, but you miss. I assume the same target, and that hits for nine and death. And death is sometimes somewhat permanent. To the south of... Wait, which one are you attacking? Because you only have one attack left. The one immediately south of you. Excellent. Go for the attack. Mm. That'll... Yep, that'll hit for 11 damage, and it's bloody. Alright, Adrian. 
That was over all of your attacks, unless you want to action surge. Alright, three more attacks if you want to attack. Alright, north of you. Go for it. Can you kill him? I wager yes with a dirty 20 and death. Alright, immediately to its right. Sorry, its left, your right. You go for the attacking turn. Okay, well, yes, it is now... Hang on. Still alive! You cannot see under this water in particular because of... Oh, wait, um... How many attacks have you used? Oh, okay. You have, I guess, one left. To the south... Uh, east of you. Go for the attack. That will hit, but not kill. And then you swim away, triggering no attacks of opportunity because no one can see each other. Really liking that water, I'm guessing. You can move one more square and bonus action dash. Uh, is that it for you, sir? A little bit of movement left in you. Alright, you are not frightened any longer, so we move now to Baron. Huh, this thing can chase me just about anywhere I go. That's not cool. And it... And I can't get any closer to it, so I can't do what I was thinking of doing. Man, this is tough. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do something sensible. Let's see how tough it is. A 20 to hit. Dirty. Dirty 20 to hit. Uh, the arrow just barely catches it in one of its scales. For 12 cold damage. Watch that health bar. There, I did 12 damage. Yay! Seeing that, Varen's just kind of going to go, Aha! I'll shoot you again. Nervously in its fear. And 18 is a glancing blow, but does hit, so Colossus Slayer gets added. So I have to hit the check mark. Uh, 13 becomes 7 plus 4 is 11 total points of damage. And then Wisdom saving throw against Fear. Please help. Please, please, please. Wait, I forgot. No, I was... Okay, my bad. Well, first off, I don't succeed against Fear anyways, but I am going to run. To here. Now I do my Wisdom saving throw. Oh, look, I failed. Anyways... Next turn, uh, at the end of my turn, the shadow and the shadowy creature is going to use a legend a lair action and regain hit points. And now it's its turn. What's the range? Yeah, variance in range. So too is that hopping knoll. So unfortunately for the knoll, it's in range. Right. This creature sucks in a massively long, loud breath. And I need dexterity saving throws from Baron and from the hopping knoll. 
home. Character sheet, book series, saving throw. And Baron, book series, saving throw. Well, the null fails. Baron. Baron succeeds! Yay! Who would like to roll me? 18 Delta 6. Anyone? Hello? Have I lost everyone? Oh my, there's the roll. Thank you, Adrian. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my giddy Aunt Martha. Fortunately, Varen's not going to take half of 75 points of damage. <laughs> because Varen chose ev evasion. <laughs> Yay! I succeed on the saving throw, so I take no damage. I am giddy with a relief. However, that null is going to take 75 damage. And is very dead. Uh, Thea, it is a, your turn. What would you like to do? Thea? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think. Briefly give the a phone call. Hey, Luigi? Oh, there you are. Now I can hear you. It is your turn, Thea. Yeah, okay. sorry. I didn't realize I'd lost up. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize I'd lost audio on yours. I was kind of waiting and didn't do a clip. No worries. Um. Um. Basically, I barely survived. Uh, I barely dodged uh, being roasted alive by shadows. Yay. But the null near me did not survive. It is your turn. I'll take a shot at this guy right here. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Disadvantage, I do believe. Yes, a disadvantage. Oh. A hey, 13. I'm sure. I'm sorry? Uh, yeah, that shot goes oh, wide. Oh, I was just saying that's going wide, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it went wide. Can I hit the dragon? <laughs> I don't know, do you see a dragon? I'm sticking my tongue out at you. <laughs> Oops, yeah. I went the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> in short, uh, you miss... I suppose I don't, don't know if I see dragons. So. Right? There's just shadows everywhere. Uh, so that was your, sh your action to shoot, you're restrained, you're poisoned, and you're frightened. Please give me, uh, if you'd like, Please use your, use your bonus action to try and break free of the vines with disadvantage strength check. Strength check. You did. Oh, wait. No, it's supposed to be disadvantage. Good mistake. Hold on. I don't think it matters. Oh, wait! No, it doesn't. It does matter. <laughs> it does matter. Uh, unfortunately, you are still restrained. <laughs> oh, wait. You're still restrained. Most yeah. unfortunate. And wisdom saving throw against the pure condition? Indeed, at normal. Um, you are still frightened. I think I'm just gonna camp out where I am for now. Yeah, I, I think that I think that's a good choice because you've got so many of those. 
<laughs> All right. Um, where was I? You're having a really hard time with that <laughs> with that corner of the map. Adrian, you go swimming way. I would say you're gasping for breath and you know just like uh, uh, so much stuff, so much stuff. However, you're still in the water, so you don't gasp. Probably check. Oh, perfect. Um, this fellow is going to come swimming up to you, uh, Adrian, and is going to try and greet you with a club. And then bite it because it gets a nat one on the club. And it misses you with six. Well, that was disappointing. This guy's gonna have to dash to here. And finally, this guy actually manages to get up right to you. So he's going to try and bite you. And stab you with his jump. Uh, both miss. The limping knoll that you tried to shoot points at you and gives a hacking <laughs> laugh. And it's going to... Hurl a jab on you, Thea. Spear. Hurl a spear at you, Thea. I know words. I, I, I promise, I know words. Getting only a 12. Ah! Can't race me through these bushes. Not that I can do much out of these, but... <laughs> <laughs> the bushes are providing you with both a, bone, a boost and a, and a negative. Adrian, it is your turn, sir. What would you like to do? Ow. The very nearly dead lizard, you want to attack him. That seems reasonable. Please do so. That is a kill. As fire sinks in through its open mouth and into the back of its throat. Gurgle, gurgle, blood. There are two more remaining on field. Nearly south of you, the fully healthy one. No, not fully healthy. The half wounded. Half dead. Um, there's still a live one. There you go. Your third and final attack, sir. Same one. Ooh, interesting. Go for it. Okay, well, he's no longer alive now. He's very dead. And did you want to move somewhere, sir? Good luck. Marco. That's creepy. <laughs> You just hear a bubbling uh, noise from the front blizzard. <laughs> you are not frightened, so you can move back towards the flying thing. Where would you like to go to, sir? And hey, I got a dry chuckle from Thea. Yay! Any movement for you, Agent? Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can bonus action dash. Excellent. Right. Varen. Okay. A few players left on the field. I'm still scared. And there's that thing that's flying all about. Baron's going to use a spell scroll. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. On the big lizard. The big flying lizard with a scary breath. Mark. And let's go on the attack against it. 
Um, Colossus Slayer if I did, and Sharpshooter, because he is barely wounded, I think. Yes, he is barely wounded. Nah, not Sharpshooter. Sorry. Smart. Icicle Arrow. Don't fail me now. Please. Please don't fail me. Well, a 24 is going to hit. Ouch. Uh, that's 11 from Cold. Um, 3 from Colossus Slayer, and 3 from Hunter's Mark. Cool. For a total of 17 damage. First shot alone. Eesh. And then... Slayer, I will shoot it again. I we'll hope to. Uh, the 17 goes wide. I... Hey, wait a minute. Why did it roll Colossus there? Rude. Um, well, I miss anyway, so no damage. Uh, Varen is now going to run. Way up here. And a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Please don't fail me now. Please succeed for me. That'd be nice. That'd be very not nice. I'm scared. This thing is so big. I'm not used to fighting such big things. And I am aware of the time. Right. Um. Where is it? There it is. Thea, please roll me one delta six. I'm thinking we'll finish this round and call it for the night. What say you? Got me, you, you two. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Thea, want that one delta six, please? One delta six, you said? Yes, please, and thank you. Two, two. One delta six. Okay. Um. Thea, you are restrained. That means dexterity saving throw at disadvantage, please. As it's now going to breathe its shadowy breath at you. Just double check something real quick, hold on. Certainly. Sorry, I just tried to double check some the rules on something. Uh, no disadvantage problem. dexterity save. Yes, please and thank you. A fifteen is uh not enough. You're going to take full damage from this. Nope, I speak a lie. You're gonna take half damage from this because you have evasion. Thank you for putting that in the chat, and here comes the damage. Now, this is going to apply to that Null, so Null also has to make a save and throw. Uh, so, Thea, you're going to take uh, 33 necrotic damage. The Null is going to take 66. I know. Um, the Null is very... <laughs> so, it was at 7, it's now at negative 59. Did you take your 33, Thea? It did. Excellent, thank you. Um, right, I can't grab the dangerous things on this map. On this screen, I have to use this screen. So there we go. 
go. Okay. Uh, and then where is it? Sorry, you know, one second. So the place where both the gnolls died, their bodies are just lying there, kind of you know, being all dead and such. When the first gnoll that died, a shadow rises from where it was. Same with that. The shadow's gonna go this way. I hope I have the character sheet so I know this game. The shadow's gonna go here. It's opening the character sheet slowly. Writhing through the vines, it's going to try and grab you, Thea. Uh, crit. Oh wait, and I forgot mine. Oops. Um... Thea, uh, Thea, go ahead and take... Oh, uh, you can uncanny dodge that and reduce that from 17 to, uh, 8 damage taken. Make sense? If you want to use your uh, reaction. Yes. I guess I misunderstood you. I thought you said it's trying to grab me, but I guess it's in it, cast. It's, make, it's making a melee attack. So okay. it just reaches out, hits you, uh, deals you at 17 damage, unless you want to use uncanny dodge. Yes, I'll use my dodge. Okay, so that 17 becomes, um, I think it's at 8. Yeah, 8. And then please roll me Actually. 1 delta 4. Yes? Actually, what? I guess it's too late to even try and use Uncanny Dodge, uh, uncanny dodge on the Dragon's attacks. So never mind. Uncanny Dodge only works on here. attack rolls, not saving throws. And there's that aspect too. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then roll me one delta four, and your strength score strength score is going to be reduced by that and by what you roll. And here's for the attack on Baron. Uh, dirty twenty hits Baron for ten necrotic damage. Ow! And Baron must make a saving throw to maintain concentration. Thea, your strength score decreases by four points. If your strength score hits zero, you die. Uh, and then roll me a d4. Reducing Varen's strength score by three. So now at nine. What's your strength score at, Thea? Eight. Currently? I don't even know if I can. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. You. What? Well, I mean, you're restrained anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> constitution saving throw. Okay, well, Varen's concentration goes away. No more Hunter's Mark. No! Alright, so that's the Shadow's turn. Thea! It is now your turn. You are restrained, poisoned, frightened. And now. In comfort. What would you like to do? Hold on, I'm trying to look something up. Sure thing. Trying to figure something out. Do you know off the top of your head, like, what affects your your strength and carrying capacity? Oh, uh, so your carrying capacity, I believe, is 15 times your strength score. 15 times strength for? 15 times strength. So you sh your mm -hmm. maximum uh, carrying capacity should be 120. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I even could try to drop weight and move this or not. Bubble bubble says I don't think I really could. I'm sorry, what, Dia? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out if it's even possible for me to basically drop weight and move or not, but I don't think it is. 
Well, I mean, you can still move. You're just kind of going to be moving at half speed. At but at any rate, you're, you're restrained anyways. So what would you like to do with your turn? I'm gonna use my augmenter and my action to cast invisibility. Nice. So you're you've drawn your sword. What have you put away in order to do, in order to draw it out? Because you had you pulled out. Um, I guess you put it away earlier since you've been making two-handed attacks with your longbow. All right, never mind. So you have your sword in one hand and you have your longbow in the other. Yeah. So you are now invisible, unseen. Anything else for you? And it does take I'll your action. Try to use my bonus action to break free. Uh, other than that, I think I'm done. Okay. Strength score. Oh, okay. So encumbered. Your strength, your speed drops by 10 feet. So basically, your net, your movement speed is now 25 instead of 35. Uh, you are not freed. But you may give me a wisdom saving throw at normal to try and break free of the frightened condition. You've got a lot of them piling up when you can read. Uh, no. The final... Oh, I'm sorry. I left the spike growth up. Not bad. That was silly of me. Adrian, the final lizard thing is going to pursue me. Un insensibly. Uh, I closed the wrong character sheet. I bet. Kinda happens when I'm handling so many different things. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And here we go. He's going to slam you with his spiked shield and try to bite you. I get a 9. And a 6. It does nothing to you. We are at the top of the round, round 6, in a crazy pocket of unreality with a lot of stuff happening all at once. Uh, Thea, you are invisible as of round 5. I want to thank you both for playing. Um, Adrian, I don't remember what round we were in when you cast Ex Expeditious Retreat, so I will try and remember what that is later, unless you know right now. Third round, thank you, sir. So fifth and third. I want to thank you both so much for playing. I apologize for last week and whatever the world in the world happened that made it impossible to play. Um, thank you both as well for coming back after um, my long absence. Last week we tried to play and something happened and we just could not. Remember? Oh. Yes. Um, can you bring the screen back up? I was trying to type in a note for Thea. I'm so sorry. I will for you in a moment. Uh, and I hope you both had a good time playing. Thank you. Um, uh, after our absence from the game, which is my fault. Then what's your question marks about? I don't understand. Oh, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. I have not been able to figure it out. So sorry. Where's my mouse? There it is. Well, I hope you both had fun. I'm um, Hmm? Uh, and Adrian, I'm sorry that we couldn't hear your voice. I don't know what's happening with Discord, and I don't know what's happening with Roll20. But, like I said, I hope you had you both had fun. It's okay. Well, hopefully we'll be able to hear you next week. Kind of. Kind of? Okay. Sorry, well, I'm not uh, trying to annoy you. I'm just trying to write a note, and it's not working. I'm sorry. 
the Thea yeah. Invisible at, at um. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Adrian. You're trying to write the note that you cast invis invisibility at uh, in round five. Yes, and uh, I'm trying to make it visible, and for some reason, like, every time I go to click on the stuff to edit it, it just disappears and doesn't let me edit it. There you go. I'm taking care of it for you. Don't worry, the text feature of Roll20 is very frustrating to use. And I just realized I completely forgot to... Yeah, I apologize. I wasn't trying to ignore you. I just... You're fine. I just realized I completely forgot that Baron's supposed to be dealing with some hedges as well, but I was also trying to wrap it up within the time frame, so I will have to roll for all those hedge things when we come back next week. Again, thank you both for playing, and I wish you all a good night. Thank you for setting up this game for us, by the way. Thank you, fellow adventurers, for joining us once more. Please comment below to vote on what monsters you want to see Adrian, Thea, and Baron take on next. You can vote for more than one kind at a time. Blue Slod Death Slod Green Slod Gray Slod Red Slod Thank you for watching, and I hope we'll see you again next week.